Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video. So this video is actually created for all of my wonderful LEGO Club students. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, everyone else, feel free to contact me down here. Um, this is at my about page on my channel. You can email me at blackerbricks at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, I would love to work with you guys if you're interested in joining. So anyways, this video is all about how to get started with stud.io. So what you want to do to download it is go to stud.io. Now, this is the thing. The actual process of downloading it is fairly simple. You pretty much download it and it's just like any other um, download. So I'm not going to walk through all of those steps. I'm just going to show you what the tutorial looks like. So if any of you guys are confused, work with a parent. Maybe they can help you out with this. Um, so you just press on that download button. It's going to take you through the installation process, but it's fairly simple. So really what I'm going to work with you on is the actual studded IO. So when you're done downloading it, you can just search up the app here. I'm on a Mac, so it'll show up like that. And what we're going to do is come here. So this is what it should look like for you guys. Maybe that won't be there at the bottom. Um, welcome to studio. Learn about camera controls and basic features to help you get started or help you get familiar with studio. So we're going to press on start tutorial and it's just going to show you a couple of things. Now I have to tell you that I'm not using a mouse. I'm just using the trackpad or the little keypad at the bottom. Um, so instead of mouse wheel, I'm just going to be moving my two fingers up and down. So that's going to zoom in and out. If you do have a mouse, obviously you just want to uh, use the uh, mouse wheel. So now right click and drag to rotate the camera. So here I'm just going to press one finger down on my mouse or one finger down here and uh, that won't work. So what you have to do is you have to press down two fingers on your trackpad. So one and then two and then it's going to allow you to rotate. So here you can just take a look at different versions of the camera just like that and it's pretty helpful. So, yep, just two fingers if you are using a keypad. So now we're going to be moving the actual camera. So before we went in and out, then we rotated it around. Now what we're going to try to do is move it. So left and right, up and down. So how we do that is we press down the space key and then we press one finger on the keypad or the trackpad and we just move it around. Um, I guess I'm kind of using those words interchangeably but you just move it around like that. So this is just something that you can experiment. If you're having any trouble, let me know. I can help you out. We can obviously discuss this in our first meeting. Um, now we're going to walk through how to build a snail. All right, so first we have the brick one by one. You just click on it once to select, and now you can use the arrow keys to move it around. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna select and drag the brick one by two onto the plate two by three. So don't get a bit don't don't be stressed out or concerned if you don't know the names. We'll work on all of that stuff. Um, so you want to just click on this one time, and then just move it with your uh, with your trackpad all the way onto this, and then click it. And there you go. So now we have a couple more pieces, and we're just going to do the same thing. So we click on this one, we move it over here, press down. Awesome. So one thing that I should tell you guys now is if you click on it and you move it here. It's not going to stay. You have to click again. If you if you click on it and you move it, right, it'll just keep moving with your mouse. So you have to click down, and that's how you deselect it. So click, move, and then click again. Okay. Now we have this one, and if we put it on just like that, it's not going to work. So we have to rotate it with the mouse. So you can rotate it just like that, and then put it on, click. Awesome. We're doing pretty good. So now we're just going to put a couple more pieces. Here we have this one, again, needs to be rotated, so we use the arrow keys just like that. Put it over here, and then click, and take this one, rotate, and then put it down over here, and then click. Super. So now we're going to be using this over here, and just search up the lever small. Oh, so I see that there's nothing coming up for this. That's uh, interesting. Maybe if I try a different color, it'll work. Oh, okay. So, I am going to put it over here and over here. Okay, next. So now, holding, uh, holding Command, we can actually change the colors of the feeler part. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to do just that. And uh, this, I think, should work on really any computer, laptop, Mac. Uh, what am I saying? Any uh, Mac or Microsoft, anything. I don't Anyways, 
So you, you press down and hold down command. So that'll let you select many things at once. If you just don't hold command, it'll only let you select one thing at once. So you want to do command, and that's a really good way, and you'll see everything is selected. Um, next, we want to change the color. So we're going to go to the color palette over here and go here and we see the black color right there so we click on that and it changes the color super cool so now we want to deselect press away and then next change the color of the shell to red so we press on the shell we come back over here to the color palette and if for some reason you don't see it you can go over here and it'll come up or you can always also search it so just red and there it is super good work well, i guess we're working pretty quickly so now we're going to click on just this piece over here and we're going to press on hinge. So this hinge button lets us move it so it can go like that. Um, so that's another really cool feature. And uh, yeah, that's really it. That's our first small little build. Um, if you guys are confused about any step, you're having trouble downloading it, you're having trouble opening up a file, uh, moving parts, changing color, anything, let me know. This was just supposed to be a very introductory um, little course, how to pretty much get started with Studio. In future videos, we'll go over all the tools over here, everything. There's so much stuff to look at. Um, so don't get stressed out. We will work through all of this together. And I hope you guys had some success with this. Thanks again, and I hope to see you guys very soon.